Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use photogrammetry to get a model generated from an object that is shiny or transparent or smooth or all of these things. For this example, we'll use this pair of sunglasses that I'd like to 3D model for my metahuman. Normally, this doesn't work. And here I've really gone ahead and tried to do everything I could to get a good series of photos for photogrammetry. There is even a grid layout for reference, and I'm using cross-polarization to limit reflections. Still, loading this set of images into even the best photogrammetry software is not likely to result in a good model. The features of this object are just too smooth, there's a lot of reflections, and a lot of just solid color that doesn't have enough variance in the features in order for the photogrammetry software to calculate a good 3D model. Sure enough, this result did not turn out well at all. So what can we do about this? The solution is to coat the object with something that reduces the transparency and reflections. You could do this with something like talcum powder or spray chalk, but I've been using this specialized spray that's intended for 3D scanning. This video is not sponsored. I get nothing out of this. It's just that this product has actually been working really well for my photogrammetry, and I thought I'd share the tip. The thing that's really special about this spray is that it is specifically designed for 3D scanning. So when you spray it on your object, it actually results in a dull finish and a little bit of a speckling pattern that's really great for photogrammetry. The other thing that's really special about this is that it evaporates into the air over time. It takes an hour or two for it to completely evaporate, but this means it's completely safe to spray on any objects. In fact, I found it by looking through some photogrammetry articles related to museum work, and museums were using this to spray onto artifacts. Here's a closer look at the glasses after the coating has been applied. You can really see that speckling pattern. So now this new set of images with the coated glasses can be run through the same photogrammetry process. And in this example, I'm just using the automated process without any type of intervention. And you can see, we get a much better result. Now, admittedly, this particular result isn't exactly perfect. I might have been able to get a little bit of a better result if I was shooting in the studio with better lighting for sharper images. But having photographed this just in a basement setting, the result is certainly good enough that it could be used in a modeling tool like Maya or Blender or Cinema 4D to create a more clean asset that could be used directly in Unreal Engine with character animation. And so this is significantly better than what we could have gotten without any coating whatsoever. And again, the big advantage with this spray is that it evaporates over time. Here's an image of the glasses shortly after the photos were done. It had already evaporated from the surface of the mat. And here they are again an hour later without having been touched. Most of the material is already evaporated off and it was only an hour later that they were completely clear. In fact, this photo of the glasses shown at the beginning of the video had actually been taken after all of the coating had evaporated on its own. So I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.